And welcome to another session of What the Tech on Tech Tuesday, being brought to you live on multiple platforms. I'm Rolando with Global Tech Worldwide, and as always, joining me on What the Tech is my co-host, the man from New Hampshire. Wait, you're over here. The man from New Hampshire, Dave Kelly. Wow. What an introduction, Rolando. Hey, listen, it was really good hanging with you yesterday doing yes. uh, doing Cyber Monday. It's been That's a year right. since we a lot did of the fun last Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. We had a bunch of fun. We answered a bunch of customer questions, showed a bunch of products, and I uh, had a really good time with you, Dave. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, it's I I know that we're uh, wow. Let's see, what would that be our anniversary for streaming? Our I don't know. Year? You gotta go back. Yeah. You yeah, I still remember when we year. did our first one over in um just outside of Boston in that studio. Uh, and uh who knew we'd be able to do that kind of stuff here from remote locations, right? From yeah, well, we kind of had we had no choice, but yeah, it all started with <laughs> it started with Amazon Live, right? That right. was our first kind of jump into it. We we rented a studio, we rented a, a producer, we got a cameraman, we got an audio person, we had set design. That's right. Wow, we've learned a lot. I, and I right. think we did about a hundred different products that day as well. So yeah, that's we right. learned a lot. We got to narrow things down and that's what we did today. I know, we, we did, we did too down. many products and we did four hours. That's, you know, <laughs> there's, there's a few shows on the Latino shows that have the Sabado Gigante, if you're one of those folks that you're old as I am, uh, they used to be a four hour show. You know, you had variety shows on the weekends that were that long. No kidding. Boy, th those guys get, and gals that did those shows get big props. It's, it's a lot of work and you're exhausted after a four hour stint. No, oh, can imagine. Yeah, it's a lot of work for sure. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, quick read from our sponsor. Go this, for it, Dave. This, Who do we have lined up today? Uh, this special edition of Tech Tuesday is brought to you by None other than Global Tech Worldwide, your technology experts providing trusted, personalized office IT solutions for over 20 years. 20 years, man. We're really dating ourselves. Oh, my God. 20 years in the business, Dave. But you know what? A lot of folks and a lot of, uh, I should say, a lot of organizations did not make it to this point. I've seen a lot of businesses come and go. Some merged, some divested, changed names, some completely out of business. You remember Circuit City? Mm -hmm. you remember Nobody Beats the Biz? <laughs> uh, there was a, a store named HH Greg that went out of business. Um, a whole lot of uh, Radio Shack, Blockbusters, or Blockbuster. Uh, a lot of just the times change. And that's, that's what, you know, I just, this morning, I was reading... I belong, I am, I'm part of a, a Facebook group of other like-minded sellers. And this person was saying exactly what I've just telling you right now, Dave, that the times are not the same, you know, to, 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 to thrive, to thrive, not just be around, but to thrive, you have to adapt. You have to sure. adjust, you know, the lifestyle that, that was around five or 10 years ago is not the same. The expectations, the things that you're doing, you're not doing the exact where the earth is not exactly in the same position of the universe as it was even five days ago. So thank God. how can things be the same and approach it the same way as, you know, just a year ago? I mean, I'm glad things are changing. I'm glad it's not the same that it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. The, yep. uh, you know, that way of doing business, you know, you had your inside sales team, you had your outside sales team, you had your marketing lists, you know, it was. Stop doing that, Dave. <laughs> Stop doing that. Hey, Stop if that's your model. That, you, let me, let me, let me, model, let me, great. I'm going to try a button for you. Stop doing that, Dave. <laughs> you Is got that the one you wanted to do? No, no, there was another one. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh -oh. There we go. Stop doing that, Dave. That's too funny. Yeah, you know, I uh, I feel like we're just picking up steam right now, man. I really think that the next 20 years for global tech are going to be the best 20 years ever. I'm, I'm looking forward to that uh, because we're definitely entering in an era where we can talk to customers live. I'm right now we're on talk. We're talking to LinkedIn. So that's global. So they're they're folks watching us 
from around the world on all different continents on this other screen over here this camera i've got TikTok live and i know that there's people there watching us from germany um Spregen Deutsch. Uh, we we'll have people watching us from Mexico. Mexico, arriba, Mexico. They won the last match in the soccer uh, World Cup against Argentina. No, that was a huge win. Arriba, Mexico. Uh, we've got people from the Philippines. Who else have we got in there? We got people from Canada. Hey, neighbors to the north, I salute you. All the way from the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. So we, we could talk to people from around. That was not even possible five or six years ago at this, it would, you know, relatively low cost compared yeah. to, you know, you could do it. But the cost was really astronomical. So all of those watching us around the world, I say hello to you and welcome from Washington, D.C. And my good buddy Dave from just outside of Boston in New Hampshire, just over the border there. He always says that I'm in the, I'm in the safe suburbs, so, southern New Hampshire. Listen, New England is beautiful this time of year. You just have to uh, you just have to bundle up because it's starting to get really cold. The snow will be hitting pretty soon. But listen, I have a lot of friends around the globe now, and I hear different weather events. And I'll take my snow. I'll deal with the snow. I would oh, rather well, have frozen yeah. snow than uh, water. And then, then being, you know, yes, there's a lot of people uh, with weather events and, you know, my heart goes out to all of those people that uh, are dealing with climate change and its effects. Uh, there was a really good, just a plug into, I get nothing out of it, but Zach's, Zach Efron has a series on Netflix um, and it's, this, this season was in Australia and he did a lot of stuff on how the water is coming up and islands are kind of, you know, shrinking down. So if you're into that kind of thing, check him out. Zac Efron on Netflix. Does that drain the oceans? No, no. That's uh, Down to Earth is the name of that series. That one looks pretty yeah. interesting. But, you know, Dave, before we get it cranking and get it popping today, there's some people I want to give big props. Big, big, big props today. All right. There's a few folks, you know, being on Amazon is not easy. We've been on Amazon coming on our 10th year on Amazon and to stay and again, thrive on this platform. It is the epitome of ev constant evolution. Av Amazon was into books. Now they're into everything, <laughs> right? Books. So they've evolved and they change and they tinker. I, I somebody told me a stat that they do something like two to 3000 AB experiments per day. So they're always tinkering and looking for things to fine tune. So in order to adjust and, and to this evolution, really, because it was an adjustment to us to be on Amazon this long and to have this kind of success, there's some people that I have drawn inspiration from and direct knowledge that I actually want to acknowledge because if it wasn't for them, we would not be here today. I want to acknowledge Kevin King. He is probably one of the premier guys out there when it comes to Amazon and what's going on with the platform has a thank you Ori for that shout out big shout out big props to Kevin King another mentor of mine who is absolutely valuable to me even to this day is Chad Rubin big props to Chad Rubin I see you and you're getting his new hustle on he sold his last e-commerce or SaaS platform and is now doing a new one called Prophecy thank you Chad I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart uh, there's another really, really, really great guy. Again, none of these people are paying me. It's just pure shout outs. Joe Nielsen on LinkedIn. Check him out, Joe Nielsen. He has some tremendous insights onto different. If you really nerd out on analytics and what that means and trends, Joe Nielsen is the guy. Uh, there's two more people that I really want to uh, uh, shout out. I want to shout out to Stephen Pope. He is uh, the My Amazon guy, self-build my, the My Amazon guy, and he is exactly, he is the Amazon guy. He knows everything in and out. Big props to Stephen Pope. And you know what, Dave? There's one other person. If I didn't mention this person's name, uh, I'd probably get the red flag thrown at me. And that's CJ <laughs> Rosenbaum of My Amazon Lawyers. Uh, of My Amazon, is that, oh, I hope I didn't know. Uh, I, I know I chopped it up. Amazon, thank you, Ori. Amazon sellers, lawyers. CJ is the man. You know, Amazon is up, it's down, it's sideways, it does all its crazy things. There's all kinds of crazy stuff that happen on that platform. 
He is the premier attorney when it comes to everything Amazon, all the legal issues. He knows it like, you know, the more than the back of his hand. The back of his hand is an insult to him. So CJ, whoop, whoop. Want to shout it you out? Get those aren't. I don't think those. Are, I don't think those uh, applauds are coming through on this end, Rolando. Oh, is there not? Hold yeah, up they were. Second. Yeah, I had heard them originally, and they didn't come through. You know, you're talking about CJ. I just finished watching a clip from CJ. It was something that he had posted on TikTok, well, and I love. Again. I love these platforms. You know. So you CJ. Yep. Yep. That's coming through. Right. So CJ, thanks for all the advice and the words of wisdom, and you know everyone else. I you know I follow everyone on there except uh, for Kevin. I haven't introduced myself to Kevin yet on LinkedIn, but all the other guys, I love what they put out there, and I love having access to their knowledge, Rolando. It's worth. Yeah. It's just it's so worthwhile to take some time and listen to some experts in the industry. That's right. That's right. I just also want to say on our TikTok channel that is live around the world we have a thanksgiving poll was your thanksgiving day good and kind to you or was it a bust let me know there's a poll on tiktok right now i'd love to see what you think about your thanksgiving if you celebrate <laughs> if not just tell me i don't celebrate hey dave we did a non-traditional thanksgiving in my house yep you know i don't know about you but the the cooking and the slaving over the stove and the stress of getting the right turkey did it come out too dry did it was it wet blah 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 the, the, oh, <laughs> it's just stressful man I gotta tell you too stressful so you know what we did we did a non traditional this year we went with sushi we went with key lime pie we did a we got a quiche and all of this was you know we ordered the sushi from Whole Foods. Uh, I have a friend that that's a baker who has a company, uh, and and she brought us the pies, and then I I made a potato salad. That's it, and that took me twenty minutes to make. So that, that was is... the, the extent of my Thanksgiving uh, meal that we put together. You know, I I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Sometimes I'm I'm craving all of those foods. I've never had key lime pie as dessert from sushi. <laughs> that sounds like a wild um it was wild wild it was, you know what I, I, enough of the the stress that comes with it so got to focus on eating and watching football that's it all i wanted to do was watch football right. i actually stressed out because i wasn't hosting so i was going to someone else's house mm -hmm. and i really wanted that turkey to come out the way that i would have made it i really wanted those potatoes to taste like i made them so my stress came right. from not having control of the wheel and it, i tell you i learned a lot about myself we got oh, there you the like food, that control i think i like that control too much i was stressing out <laughs> and i shouldn't have been and i was just writing it off like yeah nah, thanksgiving is not going to be great this year it turned out to be good a little bit small but I'll, I'll tell you all the food was hot it was all the traditional sides the turkey was moist i couldn't say enough about it i left with mm -hmm. a little leftovers and now we're here and then now we're here carries, Let, you know thursday friday saturday sunday it was all family it goes it by nice fast it goes by it fast up. dave no doubt it went so, by fast it and goes my by football fast. teams didn't win unfortunately <laughs> didn't work out it was a rough <laughs> weekend yeah very one of mine did minnesota won they beat the wisconsin badgers so anybody listening to me from wisconsin too bad but the gophers the minnesota gold i played ball in minnesota i uh lived in minnesota for for several years so big props to the golden gophers all right dave let's get to what the people have been waiting for what they've been wanting to hear from us regarding some of these products so we've got two top picks and we got two dark horses we're going to start with the two top picks all right those two top picks and they're, they're top picks for several reasons, because these are the kind of products today that will help you thrive, help you excel in what you're doing. They will help you sound and look like a professional, Dave, because who doesn't want to look? If you are still one of those people, when you call a customer and you're, hey, Dave, what are you doing? Hey, blah, blah, blah. I got this big. Don't do that. Here we go. Stop doing that. 
right? Stop doing that. It's You're neglectful. doing yourself a disservice. It's neglectful. <laughs> it is totally neglectful. I'm going to give you an uh-oh uh -oh. if you do that. Uh-oh. Let me go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't do that anymore. You Let's elevate the game, right? So, you know, Dave, there's a lot of people transitioning right now from one job to another and some that are transitioning to their side hustle or their solopreneurs. And if you want to do something right away that's going to set you apart from the competition instead of being that guy or that girl that's talking like this and shouting into your speakerphone when you're talking to somebody or even like this because the sound quality on this mic is not nearly as good as you think we've got the product so that you can make a small investment that will take you a mile long in terms of uh, the roi that you're going to get from it so we're going to start with a bluetooth headset by jabra all right and this is a headset that is one of our big sellers. And there's a reason for it. Uh, the Jabra Evolve 65 Bluetooth headset. Uh, it's one of the OGs, Dave. One of the OGs when it comes to Bluetooth headset. It's not a brand new one, but it's still ticking. It's still, it's battle tested. It's withstanding the test of time for a lot of reasons. Let's point something out. Jabra has also uh, released a new version. Everything looks the same, the same box, the same hardware. Everything's the same, except inside they put a new chipset. And so that is the difference between the Jabra Evolve 65. And if you see Jabra Evolve 65E, oh, I'm sorry, Jabra Evolve 65SE, Sam Edward, Evolve 65SE. I think it stands for second edition. Uh, but if you see that on the on the sticker, it says SE, you have the latest one. And that's important specifically for those folks that want to use it with Teams so that you can get that Teams integration. We're going to talk about that in a moment and why that's so important. Uh, so let me show you what's here with the Evolve 65. In the box, you're going to get from us, you're going to get this two-pack bonus windscreen. So why is that important? Because your microphone is is where all the action is at and when you're talking into a microphone and you get this usb uh charging cable included the microphone is how people interact with you and how they understand you and what microphones tend to do over time that's the microphone here the the uh the little cutouts that are in here that have the where your your mouth talks into it's got little holes and those holes can get clogged over time. That won't happen on day one, Dave. It won't happen on day two. But over time, especially those people looking to do the side hustles and solopreneurs or people that are working at home, that that end of the microphone is going to get clogged up from your voice talking into it. So yeah, there's a very dust and things like that. But hey, Rolando, those those spare parts. That's exclusively for our customers, correct? Absolutely. So if you're a global tech customer, if you're watching us on TikTok and you want to know why you want to do business with global tech, that's because we gave you great value. Not just great expertise, but great value. But in the box, that's not included. That would normally, I should say, that normally would not be included with the Evolve 65, the Jabra Evolve 65, actually the entire line of the Jabra products. They don't include that extra uh, microphone protector. So that's what it is. It's been a protector microphone. You know, we've been doing this for 20 years, Dave. And if we can help customers again, sound and look their best, we're doing our mission. And one of those things is including a windscreen to protect that microphone. You're going to save yourself a world of problems down the line. You'll thank us. It's just drop in a review and say, Hey, you guys were great. You saved me. You saved my butt with that in the windscreen. All right. So in the box, you get this and I have the stereo version. So there's a stereo version. There is a stereo version of the Job Revolve 65. There is a mono version. And there's also a version that includes the stand. So a charging stand. If you are like me and you're talking all day long, you want to get the version that includes the charging stand. Otherwise, you charge it with this USB cable. Right? That is your way to charge it. Now, one of the things that comes up with the with 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 a lot of these Bluetooth headsets, you can't charge it when you uh, when you're using. You can't use it and charge it. This one allows you to do that. So that is one of those things. I'm going to get into hero aspects of it, uh, Dave. But Dave, let's talk about why this Jabra Evolve 65 Bluetooth headset, the OG of headsets, 
who is this really made for? Because that's the thing. Should I get this? That's that's the one thing people are asking. It's got great ratings on 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 Amazon, but who would you say is an ideal user for this type of Bluetooth headset? Listen, judging from sales, back in twenty, back in uh, January, February, and March, right at the beginning of the pandemic, twenty twenty. Our sales on these items were going through the roof, and that was because the folks that can can really benefit from this headset is someone that's working from home, they're working on a laptop, and maybe they're also working on their cell phone. The headset's a multi-use headset, so it can go in between a PC and also to a cell phone itself. And having this connectivity in your house worked, you know, works really, really well. It's not for a it's not for a truck driver or really driving around in the car. You know, those people that are working from home and maybe now they're hybrid working where they're That's in right. their home office and That's now right. they go into the office two days a week. The people that bought these headsets back at the beginning of the pandemic, they're still using the same product. They get they keep it up to date with firmware and they're able to bring it back and forth from a home office to the actual office and connect to a cell phone in their computer. So for folks that are communicating in the ways of new post pandemic, and if that's the right way to say it, but you know, these hybrid workers, they love, they love the flexibility, the battery life, the talk time, the noise cancellation. I, I, I was talking to someone the other day. They said, I'm just so glad I have the evolve because in the past I was using the speaker phone. If I needed to do some multitasking work, right. Uh -oh. And that's what that always... gets that speaker phone. <clears throat> And then the paranoia, you know, you're in a call, you're making a quick breakfast for your child that has a online school starting mm -hmm. and being able to quickly mute themselves, being able to just filter out some of that background noise. You know, we really improve. A lot of people made the right decision by going with this and yeah, you we can't still go hear wrong. it every day. They, they uh, absolutely love it. Uh, you're absolutely right, Dave. You know, and I want to also include in the mix of those folks that are ideal users there are receptionists, doctor's office, dentists, knowledge workers, nurse, telehealth practitioners. You know, my brother, Dave, I gave him one of these. I, oh, I yeah? gave him one of these, this exact same model. I gave him one of these as a gift about five years ago, and he still uses that to this day. He's a surgeon, so he uses it to, to talk to people uh, because he wants to make sure he wants to make sure that they hear every single word he's saying, you know, seconds count especially if you're in the telemedicine telehealth field uh depending on the nature you may be doing something more critical um if it's if it's an acute situation or even still you know you may be doing telehealth and you're talking to somebody in an, at their home and if they can't really hear you or even worse yet the doctor or the practitioner can't hear them well that could be a problem mm -hmm. right so any of those people any of those professions are really well well uh well you know you'll do well by using this this kind of product the jabra evolve 65. now dave now that we've talked about who's the ideal user we've have sold thousands tens of thousands of these for years and i we can tell you for sure the hero aspects of this product as well as some of the kryptonite all right so Ori, let's put up our hero uh, banner. Let me see. <laughs> let me let me let me let me get let me get in the right position here. Woo! <laughs> what is the name of? We haven't come up with a name for our hero. I don't think we had a meeting on selecting this <laughs> individual as our hero. There wasn't a memo for this guy here. Wait, 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 no, right we, hey, guy, yeah. what's your name, guy? Maybe we just call him Guy. Guy he looks like, like uh, he looks like Guy Smiley's uh, kid. All right. Yeah, so that's uh, yeah. Is, wasn't that was that South Park, right? Guy? No. Hey, guy. Smiley. Oh, well, that's perhaps South guy Park. Smiley. They, they call themselves guy. Hey, guy. He hey. could be Canadian. Hey. Hey, guy. Hey, hey kid. Guy. I was so, gonna say, hey, kid. That's more of a New England thing. <laughs> so we'll guy, 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 guy. Smiley. He was the host on. He was a Muppet. So he was on Sesame Street. He was uh -huh. the. He was like a game show host or something. So if Guy okay. Smiley had a son. Mm -hmm. This would this would be him, but he's uh this is a beta version of who our <laughs> superhero will be. Hey guy, so guy, listen, 
here's the superpowers to this product. And these are the reasons uh, it, it, it merits why we're talking about it today. The mic, like Dave was saying earlier, the microphone quality um, and the audio quality on the microphone. So that's the microphone. The quality you're going to get. Let me bring that up to this camera. It's really good. It really stands up. Even though it's the OG, uh, it's still a very good microphone. Uh, it's a standout microphone. There are other Bluetooth headsets out on the market, plenty of them, hundreds, maybe thousands of different models. The microphone quality, when you talk to people, they will be impressed by what they hear. They will hear your voice naturally, and it will come to the front like if you were in the room with them, <laughs> right? So this is a headset. When it comes to that, if you are into audio and you want to, you want people to hear you clearly, this is one of the hero superpowers on this. Number two, compatibility and certification. Dave, we were talking about this. If you are a Microsoft Teams user and you're looking for a good headset to use with Microsoft Teams, the Jabra Evolve 65 will do the job. This is the stereo version. They are also a mono version for both teams as well as other uh, what they call non-UC. So that's everything else. Now, Dave, we got to point out why there's this craziness over a Microsoft version versus a UC version. There is a whole lot of questions all the time and not just on this product, but others. And so let me boil it down to you within 15 seconds. Microsoft wants the products that are connected to their platform, their Windows stuff, they'll just call it PCs, mostly computers, to be plug and play so that the user does not have to fumble around with all sorts of stuff. And in order to do that with this product, you have to use that Bluetooth dongle. The Bluetooth dongle, once you plug it into your PC or laptop, will essentially populate the settings on a Microsoft computer and allow you to start using it without having to adjust anything on your computer. And that goes for Mac as well as Windows. So that's why that is. Otherwise, the UC version and the Microsoft version of a product like the Jabra Evolve 65 are identical. No differences. You could use them interchangeably on any platform. It's just that the Microsoft version, that dongle will plug and play and automatically give you all the settings so that you're ready to go and you don't have to fiddle around with it. So, so listen, you bring up a really good point. Yeah. Someone's using Microsoft Teams today. They buy the Teams edition of the 65, of the Evolve 65. Mm -hmm. Now, the headset, the headset's a commercial headset. It's going to last you many years. If your organization changes platforms and, say, moves to Zoom, for example, yeah. The headset, the headset's not becoming obsolete. You don't have to replace anything. That That's same right. headset with the direction of software called Jabra Direct, you can easily reconfigure the headset so that mm -hmm. it's now optimized for Teams. It's no more, or sorry, from Teams to Zoom. It's nothing more than a drop down menu. And then you mm -hmm. get that same functionality. And the functionality, I'll tell you, the most important piece that people ask me, they're like, well, why is this so important to have yep. the integration? When you have when you have an Evolve 65, you have the Microsoft edition and you're using Teams, it's plug and play. And mm -hmm. what it does is things like remote answering. That's the most popular feature of wireless headsets that yep. people are looking for. They want to answer, answer and end a phone call by hitting a button on the headset, whether they're in front of their computer or maybe they are multitasking in their hybrid office or their office, hearing an incoming tone, hitting a button on the headset, opening up, which automatically would open up the application and answer that phone call. That's the number one feature that people are looking for. And this headset has that for Microsoft Teams or any of the more popular uh, UC applications. So we can show you how to unlock that or make sure that you're buying the correct SKU so that it will have the plug and play that you're looking for. Well said, Dave. Absolutely. I can't add to that. That's well said. Makes your life easier for all those different plans. So that's the certifications and compatibility, which Dave also helped summarize. Number three, value. With what Dave just said about the 
certifications, the integration, the ability to use it across multiple platforms, the microphone, the audio quality, you're getting really good value for the price that you're paying on the Jabra Evolve 65. So again, that's mono, stereo, and all of the above. You're getting really good value, a lot of bang for the buck. There's other more expensive headsets. There's some that are cheaper. It falls right in the middle uh, between the super premium and then the, the entry level basic type of headsets and does a lot for, for that. So value, you're getting your money's worth. And then there's something really neat about this. This is the, the last thing is that magnetic boom. So the boom can move and rotate. So you can wear it on the left or the right, which also makes it a little different. Not all Bluetooth headsets allow you to do that. You can rotate the ear cups so it sits more comfortably on your head. But then as you're rotating the boom up, it can tuck away and it just clicks right into place on the headband so that it's nice and neat. It doesn't go everywhere and it just tucks away there. And I really love that feature. I think they were one of the first ones really to really put that out there yeah, so that the I boom just doesn't dangle out and get caught on something let me, let me yep yep you know and there's different different headset manufacturers do this differently some have some have um telescoping boom microphones we looked at some of those yesterday there's some where when you fold it up it folds into the band itself jabra has another version called the evolve 2 series where some of those when you take the boom microphone you can move it up and it gets it just goes within the, the plastic molding of itself. So right. the, the manufacturers, they're all getting creative because they're looking for a way, I believe they're looking for a way to address the people that are also casual phone users, but use headsets for focus, use headsets for meetings, use headsets for streaming audio and things like that. And then casually, do they need a microphone? So they're coming up with ways to make it more stylus, more 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 stylist <laughs> that's not a word uh more stylistic more more attractive stylish wow that was a big word for me this morning um maybe you didn't have enough coffee dave i don't think i get get no, the mojo I, going I, I didn't more stylish <laughs> wow anyways um it's fun to see the different the different versions that these manufacturers are doing to try to hide and isolate that microphone when not in use. But I, I was always impressed with just this simple magnet, you know, and I think it's things like that, that help to keep it in that, that uh, middle of the road offering between good, better and best. This one's right. Sits right at better, you know, right. a ton of value right. for it. And the features right. are great as well. No, well said Dave. And now we must also point out it's kryptonite. You know, what are people saying? Because it's been out for quite some time. And now our our villainous Barbosa guy right over there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Barbosa, you're something else. You cause frustration to people and cause people to complain. So, but we got to point it out, Dave, because it's part of the product. And yep. we would be doing you a disservice if we didn't tell you the truth about the products that we sell. All right. Other folks like to do reviews. Everything's happy, hunky, go dory, go buy it. End of the story. That's not us. Because we're unbiased here and we want you to know the good and the bad, we got to point out the not so good, right? That doesn't mean that this is a bad headset. It doesn't mean it's terrible. It's just aspect of, an aspect that other people have found troublesome or us in the course of using it for the last several years. So, the Barbosa, the kryptonite on this product is the muting capability. Now, there is a mute capability. There's a button right on the bottom here. No, let me bring it in. Focus. Ooh, there we go. That bot, that bottom button right there is shared. There we go. That's a shared button. Well, let me move it over here in front of my face. There we go. That button is shared with the volume down. Now, in order to mute, you have to hold that button down for two seconds. Now it's not intuitive, but it can mute and it's worked fine for many people without a problem, but there are other products that have either a dedicated mute button 
or another way to make it easier with the boom going up and down and that mutes you or the retractable uh, boom where the boom goes in and out to mute this does not have that so if you have an issue with that or that's a problem then that's maybe a consideration for you i don't think it's a big problem but some people uh don't find it as intuitive so that's one of the things that uh, they've addressed in the newer versions the evolve 2 but on this current line of product because it is the og it's still the way to mute dave you got to hold that button down for two seconds and then you're muted right so that's the kryptonite that's the barbosa around this particular product you know from a marketing standpoint it's genius because the product does have the ability to mute you need to learn how to do it so it might not be something that you can figure out quickly you just need to do a little bit of research some people don't want to read and david the if it's on the if you give me a tabletop ori it's on the box itself but it's still you know uh, if you're like me sometimes you don't even read you don't read anything mm -hmm. so it's right on the box but uh, what right they over here here are all the functions and right over that. here you've got the uh indicator that tells you volume down mute or unmute the microphone it's right here so you just hold it's a shared it's a shared button all right you know danish design is all about being sleek dave they are very minimalistic in their design so i don't know how the engineers decided why they just didn't add a button on it for mute but you know for the minimal type of design is in line with who they are that's sure. the only thing i would say in their defense for not adding a mute button yeah, you know, from a customer's. Okay, let let Dave take that. Let Dave take that. I'm gonna I'm gonna monkey here with this TikTok camera for a second. So I was just I just wanted to point out from a features standpoint that you know Paul, I'm sorry Jabra has different different headsets within the Evolve category. So from an Evolve 65, you can go up to an Evolve 75. So if the customer is looking for that mute functionality by just rotating the microphone up, it gives them a reason to step up into the next level. So if someone is asking, why would I pick this one over this one? What, what do I get more? You know, because a lot of folks want the premium offerings. What do I get mm -hmm. if I go from the 65 to the 75? It's nice that Jabra has made it easy for them, you know, just to lay it out. Well, th this is the additional features Yes, you're paying extra for them, but it's a better headset if that's the functionality that you need. I haven't heard any funny stories recently about um, the embarrassment of not knowing to do a, a mute, you know, being able to quickly mute yourself. But yeah. I'll tell you, in the, in the height of the pandemic, there was so many videos floating around. My son would show me daily where it was things that people were just mistakenly doing you know i mm -hmm. left my camera on i left my microphone on <laughs> and i, I th there can be a high level of embarrassment avoided if you know how to mute your headset and feel confident that it is muted that's always been a right. pro tip a avoid pro the tip. embarrassment get ready for a pro tip and dave let us know that that was a pro tip that you can always mute yourself so you're not feeling embarrassed you know, I just want to circle back here for a moment. Ori, you put up Steve Harvey up there. I know who Steve Harvey is. Uh, he is a very smart guy. Several years ago, I worked with him on several security projects, stuff we can't even talk about, but he's a great guy. Steve, thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in today. I'm going to give you a nice clap and shout out as well. All right, Stephen. Let's see that that last bit tells you he does some real heavy duty stuff. The TSSCI, Dave. Anybody that's got that at, on their name, they're doing some really high level government projects that they'd have to like do some bad things to you if they had told you what they do. <laughs> you have to keep it quiet. <laughs> that's what that means. I believe that stands for top secret, uh, something compartmentalized, something like that. I can't remember the last part, but I know the it's first part is It's not a secret, secret anymore. <laughs> well, that part is not a secret. The uh, 
the designation there um it, it just tells you that this guy can basically go into a room that's built out of aluminum that no signals can get in essentially a metal can and talk about all the all this all the stuff that the uh, privilege that comes with knowing uh classified information so shout out to steve harvey thanks for tuning in definitely right. sound definitely sounds like a new netflix original rolando <laughs> You know, nothing has been done around. Well, there's been, you know, you got the Snowden thing who blew the whistle on a bunch of stuff. He did it wrong, you know. But anywho, um, the what I was going to say, Ori, let's go to rapid fire. So one of the things that happens around here, Dave, is we like answering customer questions. I love it. it keeps me on my toes. It, it keeps me in touch with what the people want. So we've had questions come in on the Jabra Evolve 65 and i've got you can see on my screen i've got way more questions than i could probably answer in three minutes but i'm going to get through as many as i can all right all right let's see there's a clock is ready for me i'm ready let me take a sip of my tea and see if it's warm all right ready to go uno dos tres question number one does it have a mute button or a switch this comes in from k K wants to know. Yes, K, it do, it has the mute button that is shared. That's it right down here below. There's a little, little ridge. You hold that mute button for two seconds. It will mute. You go back, press it again for two seconds. Again, it will unmute. So that is on the Jabra Evolve 65. Thanks for sending in that question. We've got next question by Donna. Donna wants to know, what's the microphone? Was the microphone effective at cutting out background noise? The answer is yes. It has noise canceling built in i even gave one of these to my brother just for that purpose because he needed optimal sound quality and it does cut out background noise thank you for sending that in donna what is the difference between the uc oh there we go what is the difference between the uc optimized standard and the uc stereo Ooh. well basically what this comes out to is and i think they meant to say ms microsoft so uh, the Microsoft version just means that when you plug the dongle in into the PC, your your um, Jabra Evolve 65 will auto-populate the settings so that it's plug and play at the moment. You do that on a Microsoft uh, Microsoft Windows system. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Microsoft optimized system. So that's the difference. The UC works across every platform and so does the Microsoft. The only difference is the Microsoft version or the Microsoft edition of that pro of the Jabra Evolve 65 is plug and play on a Windows system. All right. Uh, next question. Can you connect to a Bluetooth enabled PC without the dongle? I don't have a lot of USB ports. Well, here's there's two answers to that. Yes, you can do that without the dongle. But recognize that without the dongle, like I said earlier, you may not get some of those optimized settings. You're not going to get an, a dedicated audio path like you would with this. You do not get a dedicated audio path natively into Bluetooth. And you may experience Bluetooth issues when you use it with the uh, Jabra Evolve 65. This gives you the ability to use all the audio as well as all of the customization that you would want out of your Bluetooth headset. So I highly recommend that. All right, how am I doing time? Ooh, I'm doing good. Uh, let's see. Let's get to some other questions. Can the headset be used while charging? The answer is yes. Just plug in the USB cable into your computer, and it will still keep on ticking. I've done that myself. Uh, okay. I answered. There was another question. Difference between op this, the UC and the MS. Did that one. Do you sound natural or digitized to the person on the other end of the phone? You sound crystal clear to the person, no matter if you're on a computer or you're on a mobile phone. If you're sounding digitized, I would take a look at interference that's causing the blah, mm, triple zero. I'm going to finish it anyways. If you're getting digitized sound, more than likely it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be that your network is having issues and that's if you're at home or even at work. There may be some network congestion or some slowing of those packets arriving and being sent to you in the transmission. A little bit of a nerdy response. And then the other thing that could be causing this kind of digitization of sound could be that you may have too many Bluetooth devices around your environment that will cause some interference and some problems. 
So first, I would go with the network side to see if you're having some network issues. Maybe try it somewhere else. Maybe you're some some other location. See if that fixes. If that doesn't, and you still have the same pattern of digitized sound, it could be. And it's happened to me this year. I realized it with all of the Bluetooth stuff I have on my desk. I was getting some of that, and it was a result of way too many Bluetooth devices on my desk. I got a Bluetooth keyboard. I got a Bluetooth mouse. I got a Bluetooth computer. I have Bluetooth on my mobile phone. I have Bluetooth you have on my on my desk phone. Bluetooth headsets. I had a Bluetooth <laughs> headset. I and so all of these things in close proximity here in my desk area and in my little home studio, all of those things being on was causing a problem. So I had to go down one by one and figure out how many of these actually actually have on without causing interference. All right. And that that question came. Did we have a did we have a name on that? That one came from Priscilla. Priscilla, thanks for sending in that question on the Evolve 65. Dave, listen as a as a pro tip for any user of a Here Bluetooth we go. headset. Get ready for a pro tip. Get ready for a pro tip. Right, pro so, tip numero dos. Dave. So I, so I got a pro tip. If you're using a Bluetooth headset with a dongle. And if you're having any interference issues, if you're not getting the wireless range that you're looking for, we have a premium product called the, the Global Tech. This is the Blue Beacon Range Extender. This is a way where you can you can take that small USB dongle that, you know what, you might have to stick it in the side of your computer or in the back of your PC, which might be under your desk. That may be causing some interference or bad audio quality. The blue beacon range extender gives you the ability to take the dongle and put it in an ideal place. It's about uh, three feet long. It's an, an extension cable, USB to USB-C or USB-A, depending on what, what you need. And then that will give you the ability to take the dongle, get it at a higher elevation or put it in a better location so that you can get optimal range and optimal sound quality. And that's exclusively sold by us. Bluetooth range extender. Check it out. Well said, Dave. Love it. Plug into the blue beacon. You know why? Because you will be a hero. Want to be a hero, not a zero. I've got mine right over there, Dave. It's off camera, off to the side. I could go clear beyond that wall and go out, out this door over here where the curtains are in the backyard. And I can go pretty pretty far. I mean, I, I'm I'm amazed at what line of sight can do for for uh, a computer. And you know, my computer way off on the side down there, and it it just helps that tremendously. So let's roll on into top pick numero dos of the day. They are Ori. Give us that graphic for the top pick. Do we have the top pick and then a little? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Woohoo! Top pick numero dos. It is another Jabra product. It's a different one. This is a Jabra product for those, you know, Dave, people say, I don't want to be caught dead with a headset on my uh, on my head. Or, you know what? My hair is just too good for a headset. I can't put anything on my locks, man. I don't want to be caught messing it up. I spent too much money. Or, or you know what? My ears are just way too, I don't want anything messing around with my, some people may have hearing aids. And so that, you know, there's an issue there sometimes putting things on their head. So we've got an, we've got an alternative for those folks that say that, right. And still sound like a professional and enhancing the sound compared to your speakerphone or worse yet, Dave, the laptop microphone and speakers. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I have a boo in here somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! There we go. Oh no! Oh no! You don't want to do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your clients. So, I've got a Jabra 510, which is their entry level model, and they've got three different models. We're gonna we're gonna highlight one today, and that's the 510. This is their entry level model. Uh, it is available with and without a dongle so the one that is available without the dongle that's the one i have here that's the jabra 510 and if you want the dongle because if you've listened to any of our podcasts including this one today you know the dongle is important for audio 
if you're going to use it with the Bluetooth capability. And so that'd be the Jabra Speak 510 Plus, okay? And you get the dongle with the Plus version. That's the only difference there. So in the box, you get a very straightforward, you got to get, you get a micro cloth. So if you want to keep your item dust free, we include that. Again, Dave, we do a service for our folks, whether they're watching us around the world on TikTok, where we have a poll. Let me know if your Thanksgiving went well or if it was a bust. Uh, you get a microfiber cloth and we would really appreciate We have it in here. Go ahead and send us your favorite picture with the speak or any of the products and we will feature it on our social media channels, Instagram, we have Facebook, all of them. So if you send that to us and tag us on one of the social media channels, we will feature it and uh, you know show you off to you know the world. So in the box, you've got this uh, nice neoprene bag that comes <coughs> with it, and it's very straightforward. Uh, it's a very straightforward. You got a, a, a hockey puck style or a puck style round type of format. Uh, it's got this type of cushioning on the bottom so it can sit on the table. Uh, it can sit on your desk uh, without sliding very much. So if I put it down here on my table, you see it's, it actually, my table moves around, shakes a little bit, because and I'm actually moving it pretty good. All right, move it side to side. No, it sticks very well to this surface. So that's one of those things that I, I really like about, about this product. Now, as before we get too heavy into the Speak 510, I think, Dave, we should also say, who is this really made for? Who's the ideal customer? Who's the ideal user for this product? Because you want to know if this is right for you. So, Rolando, you pointed it out at the beginning. Headsets give you the ability to sound great and be hands-free in your work environment, right? Be mm -hmm. more productive. Um, sound great, again, noise cancellation, all these things, all the benefits of good audio and all the benefits of being hands-free. But for folks that are not looking to put a headset on, hey, we understand. Head speaker phones, these have sold probably side to side with headsets. For every headset we're selling, we're selling a speaker phone. Yeah. And that's because not everybody spends eight hours a day on the phone. Some people only do a couple of meetings a day. Right. And they don't need the ability to put some, you know, they don't want to wear something on their head, but they want, they want some additional part. Everybody's looking to save some time and energy. Listen, if you can do two things at once, do two things at once. A speaker phone will allow you the ability to be part of that morning meeting. You're a road warrior, right? You're, you got a trade show. You're trying to hit breakfast at 830 in the morning. You're in your hotel room and you're getting ready. But you also have a call. You have that staff meeting. Right. Right. I tell you, being that able bag to that comes with it. So you could you could take it to go with you. Yeah. So you're you're in your hotel room, you're pressing your shirt, you're shaving, you're you're multitasking, and you're participating so that you can still get down to that 8:30 breakfast. I found that road warriors absolutely love the 510 and the 710. Mm -hmm. Tons of battery life. Rolando showed us the bag. That thing slips real easy into a into a laptop bag. Absolutely, it does. And, I, and you, you know, I've taken I've taken the uh, I've taken speaker phones with me on the road because exactly what you said, Dave. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so you, especially in the morning or even later meetings, you in the hotel room, you're kind of it, it's not your home environment, right? And you want to be able to move, but you want to be able to hear as you're you know maybe packing or you're you know, um, or, or you're doing your shaving or whatever, you're, you're getting ready for the, the meetings. And I find it super handy when you are on the road and you take it to the client site with you because there are times where you maybe want to share a file, right? Whether it's on your, on your, um, on your smartphone or your PC and it has audio on it. And mm -hmm. hearing audio on this compared to this are like night and day. For sure. Yeah, and good you point. just you just elevate that whole presentation when you lay this on the desk or on the conference room and and people can actually hear the sound on your smartphone. If it's a file you're sharing that's got audio on it or video and it's got audio with the video or your your laptop and you're boom. Now, now everybody doesn't have to do one of these They're crowding around to hear your laptop audio or the speakerphone audio on your on smartphone 
Right. Now, you know, for the for the road warrior, this thing makes a lot of sense. But there's also a lot of folks that are that are back to the office. They have hybrid work environments and they're looking for like a smaller huddle room solution. You know, right. they, they may not have the budget to put a big audio conference or a big video conference room in there. They just need a little space, maybe two to five people at one time kind of huddle. Hud hud huddling around at the desk and a solution like the 510 it's inexpensive there's a ton of value in it but it again you can go into a room you can use that so you can conference and i'll tell you there's a lot of folks that may go into a huddle space with just a desk telephone and try to use the oh. speaker phone on a desk telephone right. oh i got one right here i knew you were gonna say that dave don't be that person these are nice phones no matter if it's a polycom or a yay link they're great but this is a lot better this is gonna just elevate the game and that's what you want to do and i'm saying that because you want to sound and look your best no don't do that to your clients and just putting this plunking this down in a conference room <laughs> putting four people around it they will not take too well to that it just it just doesn't go well it just screaming into the microphone on a, on a desk phone is no good and then you're wasting time because you're asking people to repeat themselves. Absolutely. All of those things. So for organizations that need a huddle room solution, these speakers like the 510 and also the, the 710, 710, you know, these are designed for, you know, for that type of a setup. Indeed. And I like how you're teeing things up because it's time to talk about the hero features. Ori, give me the hero features. Bring out Guy. Hey, Guy. <laughs> hey, Guy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna adopt the guy from Canada, right? They don't celebrate Thanksgiving. What do they celebrate? What do they do up there, Dave? Do you know? They do something. I think they have their own uh, Thanksgiving. They may have. And if you're watching now, which I see a bunch of people watching us on TikTok as well from around the globe, Dave. Hello to you from watching all over the world i see mexico i see canada a all over the u.s uh again people up in europe watching us germany the uk are watching us live i have a poll whether you participated in thanksgiving or not i want to know was your thanksgiving good to you or a bust let me know i'd love to see your comments on tiktok so thanks for watching us today all right dave back to guy We'll call him Guy from Canada. Hey. Hey, Guy. So our hero, our superpowers on this Jabra Speak, on this, wait a minute, let me put him right in there. Yeah. On this Speak 510, is that, you know what, Dave? I haven't said this for any of the products that we rolled out today or even yesterday. It is highly rated. So this product on Amazon is rated a 4.6 out of 5. Do you know how difficult that is? That is extremely hard to get a product very close to five. That's five is perfection, but 4.6 out of five is, it says a lot about the product. That alone would be an amazing superpower for any product, but this is something that over the years, it just keeps proving its worth. Customers keep rating it highly. So if you had any doubts, just the reviews alone, will tell you this is a good product number two it is easy to use you can simply use the included usb connector and it's a usb a by the way they only make this the speak 510 and 710 and with the usb a usb model uh so it's easy plug and play with the with the with the i'm sorry with the usb adapter or using it in bluetooth mode in which case again i highly recommend using the dongle when you're using your pc with it it'll save you a lot of frustration number three it is so far superior to any laptop speaker or speakerphone on a mobile phone i haven't found any laptop that comes close in matching the performance that you're going to get from the speak 510 it is an instant an instant upgrade to somebody that's been using the laptop forever so 
you will find that this gives you an unbelievable sound compared to what you were getting before. Another thing, especially for those folks that are enterprise customers or business customers that need to have something that integrates and makes your life easier. The Speak 510 is certified Skype for Business, GoToMeeting, WebEx, and more. So it's going to work in an integrated fashion with those call controls. So volume up, down, mute, and answer. It's going to integrate with that so that you just press the volume up here. It turns the volume up on the on the platform for you on on your go to meeting. You turn the volume down, it'll turn down. You mute, it'll mute on your go to meeting. So you don't have to be embarrassed. I'm not to do this. Uh oh. No uh oh moments. You don't want uh oh moments because you forgot to mute. Or worse yet, people yelling at you because you are muted and you can't do it very easily. Fishing around for maybe the the mouse and where to click it. You just do that right here, right on the speak set, right on the speak. Um, right on the buttons that are on here. So certifications, that's important for those business users that need that check. Lastly, it's got another superhero quality, Dave, where uh, I've got so many, I've, you have a Bluetooth headset, no matter which one it is, you'd be able to, you're not gonna like it that I do this, but that's the one that I can reach for. Uh, <laughs> you've got your Bluetooth headset and you've got your speak, your Speak 510, you can transfer the call from your Speak 510 over to your Bluetooth headset. That's pretty freaking cool because you may be on a call that things may go into a direction where you need a little more privacy, Dave. And so if that's the case, you can transfer the call from the Speak 510 speakerphone over to your Bluetooth. How cool is that? Yeah, that is, that is super nice. And I like when you do the transfer, you know the transfer happened the um the 510 that the there's no actual buttons on there those are all like soft keys and yep. it lights up to communicate different things that are happening to it so the Indeed. design on this is great but you know certainly being able to get someone off speakerphone real fast and get it personalized in your ear definitely a, a smart feature for security measures uh, of course and privacy and if you're like steve and you were talking about TSSCI type stuff, you definitely want to move the call over to your Bluetooth. Although, oh, we're going to get this in a little bit, there are agencies as well as some organizations that, that do not uh, sanction the usage of Bluetooth devices. And believe it or not, they're not sanctioned in a couple of different organizations for all sorts of reasons. Uh, but for those folks, we got something coming up for you. If you want, if you can't use Bluetooth and want a product that that still works, but without the Bluetooth and is certified with all these business platforms. So those are the crypto. Uh, now, the kryptonite. Where's our Barbosa? Barbosa. <laughs> oh, boo. Oh, no. You rear your ugly head again, Barbosa. Okay. So the 510 is not certified for Zoom. What does that mean? Let me break it down real easy. You can, you still use the 510 for Zoom. It's still going to sound great. What you, what happens is that the 510, when you plug it in and you're on Zoom, you won't be able to turn the mute on and off from here. That's what the Zoom certification tends to give you. Uh, when you have that integration built in, you, you'll still need to go over to your keyboard or your mouse and turn it off. Uh, in order to do the mute and all that other kind of stuff. So, and Zoom is a popular platform, Dave, but this OG that's been out oof, maybe 10 years now, yeah, I guess it wasn't designed or the oh. chipset doesn't allow it to be upgraded to that Zoom certification uh, because you the 710, which is the next step up, that one is certified for Zoom rooms. So the Jabra Speak 710, if you need a speakerphone that is Zoom Room certified. The Jabra Speak 710 is going to be Zoom Rooms certified. Now, the last thing. Let me give it a no-no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. When it comes to kryptonite, it's not full duplex. Dave, do you want to, you want me to handle that or you want to explain what that means? You so, 
So why don't you explain it? I'm actually learning a little bit right now. I, okay. I guess I didn't realize right, that the okay. 510 we wasn't full duplex. It is not. The 510 is not, Dave. Me too. I, For the longest, I thought it was. It's the 750, the brand, the, the latest one they just released last year. That version, the Speak 750, is full duplex. So let me explain what that means. Full duplex allows you as a as a person using this speakerphone to talk and receive so you're talking and sending at the same time without having to essentially talk over each other half duplex which is the other term half duplex means audio is going out and then receive for most people individual users that's not going to be a big deal breaker but for some that want that just a little bit extra like hmm i want the full thing 750 does the job so that's one of those things that you would and it's an entry level model so it's, it's a lower price so that's that's par for the course uh but there are newer products out there that are full duplex as well as the speak 750 now the 710 does a really good job but it doesn't have the full duplex only the 750 so that is why i get that oh, no. a double thing let me see yeah that can i get that down again <laughs> so if that's a deal breaker that's what you'll need to know again dave we only tell the facts around here we're not making things up and we want you to have the right information so you can make an informed decision that is not a deal breaker for a lot of people but as a nerd of this product somebody using this stuff for 20 years like yourself dave we get down into the weeds so you don't have to do that we do that work for you and right, you know dave? when i when i look at that user rating of 4.6 out of 5 yeah. you can yeah. tell right there the full duplex audio is not a deal breaker for not. for so many people very highly rated it, it is and by the way when we do these kryptonite things i'm going in really deep to look for stuff some of the not so obvious stuff and like you said for most users it's 4.6 so 95 percent of users are giving it almost a five right so for almost every person that's going to order this it's going to do the job so but something you should know no full duplex all right very cool very 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 cool now comes the interesting part of this of the show dave where we talk about the dark horses <laughs> do we have a sound effect for that <laughs> <laughs> yeah giddy up horsey that wasn't approved either no. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do that one in the in the prep meeting for this one but asked Lori to get find find an effect that sounds okay and appropriate for this yeah we didn't do a consensus okay but that works the dark horses we have two we have two dark horses these are products that are flying under the radar that you should know about um and, and there, we've got two different products one is by Paul. Actually, both of them are by Polly. And it's always worth pointing out, Dave, Polly is now part of the HP family. They were formerly Plantronics and Polycom, came together, renamed themselves Polly, and then just recently were acquired into the HP family. So I'm sure at some point, all the, the Plantronics and Polly products are going to say Polly by hp or poly a family of hp or something to that effect and at some point everything's going to be hp i so, think they've i think they've successfully trans transitioned email addresses yep to all be know. email addresses are all hp now and so it's only a matter of time before they get all their supply chain stuff saying um hp so the poly sync 10 is a speakerphone so we talked about the jabra uh, speak 510 there's some dave you know we, last year we did oof, we had a lot of fun with this one uh this is the sync 10 which is just just released just a few weeks ago we did the sync 20 mm -hmm. and the sync 20 and the sync 10 are identical when you look under the hood the 
big difference here between uh, and I don't I have this I don't have it here. Actually, it's upstairs. I actually use the Sync 20. It's upstairs. Uh, the Sync 20 has Bluetooth capability, and the Sync 20 has the Rocket button, which allows you to customize that. Let me say that again as a pro tip. Ori, give me pro tip numero tres. Here comes a pro tip. You want to know what the difference is between the PolySync 10 and the PolySync 20 speakerphone? The Sync 20 comes with a rocket button so you can customize several functions through the app. The other difference is that on the Sync 20, you have Bluetooth. On the Sync 10, it is designed with out again without bluetooth and does not have that customizable button so if neither of that is a deal breaker and you just want a simple usb no battery powered device the sync 10 is for you dave i just read yesterday in new zealand they're confiscating airpods and anything else that has a lithium battery when you get on a plane in new zealand wow. now I don't know if this is going to start a trend, but there's a lot of angst in the aviation community around batteries, lithium battery or lithium battery products. Hmm. So if the product has a lithium battery inside, they confiscate it before you can put it on as a uh, you have to check it in, but you cannot bring it on the plane as a carry on. So if that is if you travel for a living and you're going out to New Zealand, there you go. There's a pro tip for you. It may be coming to the U.S. soon because, you know, we deal with products that have lithium batteries in it like that Evolve 65 we're talking about. And there's special care with that's involved with the handling of anything now that has a, a in the U.S. when it comes to any UPS, FedEx, all DHL, all of them, uh, Postal Service have all the special handling requirements for what's labeled hazmat products mm -hmm. and anything with a lithium battery inside or sold separately is labeled hazmat. The aviation community hasn't banned or disallowed things like iPads and all the rest to be allowed on flights, but it could be coming here to the US because one country's doing it. Eventually, more will realize, oh, yeah, we can do that. We can get. And so, just FYI, you won't have to worry about that with the Sync 10. All right. So, the Sync 10, if you're looking for a product now, let me tell you who this is made for yeah let me get this yeah you, this is also in the poly family we can keep that there this sync 10 is for those individuals and organizations that are under either bluetooth restrictions and you can't use it uh you, bluetooth is not allowed at all and again maybe you travel and you want to take a speaker phone from you don't worry about the any hazmat regulations that's also for you uh, but if you're budget conscious, budget conscious, and you want to try to deploy many of these across an organization and is also certified for integration with apps or other business tools, the Sync 10 is the way to go. Um, it's budget friendly price allows it to be deployed. The, um, the fact that you can also manage a lot of these, so if you, you have 10 or you have 10,000, you can manage them. That also allows you to um, to basically unify the experience across the board. So let me show you what's included. Dave, let me tell you, Polly's doing something right here. You know, the first thing you see in the box is the USB-C to USB-A converter. This makes it so much easier as a user because you may be somewhere, maybe you're, you're hybrid. Maybe you're in the office, they're using USB-C and at home you're using USB-A. So that's what that looks like. It's USB-A on one end, USB-C on the other. I cannot get enough of these uh, adapters. Every time I find one that's in a box, I'm like, that is fantastic. I'll put that over in this part of my office. It's yeah. nice to have a couple of those laying around. Absolutely. Uh, and and USB-C is the, land of the, uh, the law of the land in the EU. And I believe next year or the following year will be the standard. Even Apple has to abide. They tried to fight it for years and they lost that in court. And so they're giving in to the USB-C standard. Say goodbye to the lightning port. It's a dodo bird as of right <laughs> now. Okay. So the sync comes in this nice little bubble wrap. 
all right and it's got a nice little layout it says poly on it eventually that may go away because it's part of the hp family your volume down your mute your plus and then your answer and terminate this is this is the one of those things that i love about this product you can answer right here for the, your calls. You can terminate for your calls with when you have the integrated products, uh, the certified products, the biz apps. Uh, you're listening to your podcast or you're listening to something else. This will just un elevate that game for you. It's going to give you a very rich experience. You know, Dave, when we did our test on the Sync 20, so under the hood, everything's the same like the Sync 20. So if I were to rip this back, you'd see. All the stuff inside here looks like the Sync 20, and we poured water all over it, and it still worked. Which is funny because Sync 10, Sync 20, that's S Y N C, but I think you poured the kitchen sink on top of it. <laughs> oh, it love lasted, it, love it, love it. It lasted Dave. for uh, it was a lot of water that you put on there. Yeah, yeah. So it, so you could you could do a lot with it. It's very versatile. From that you aspect what, you know what i wanted to do the size you know what i love is it's different there's a lot of hockey pucks out there uh -huh. and they said you know when polly's had hockey pucks and polly has had square type speaker phones but this yep. is kind of this is kind of cool it feels like a telephone or oh, you have the 20 in your hand or you so, have the 10. No, oh this is a 10. oh yeah this is 10. also a 10. okay and this is the just a comparison this yep. is the new iphone where are we up to now? 14. 13? 14? 14. So this is the 14, not the Pro Max. But this is the the smaller version of the 14. It's a little bit smaller than this. You know, if you have a Pro, the Pro Max iPhone 14, it's probably the exact same size. Mm -hmm. But you can tell it's just a little bit bigger than the newest iPhone. Easy to throw in a bag, nice microphone array in the middle. You can still throw it down, plug it into a PC or a laptop, have your conversation. And um, I hope your PC is also waterproof if you're using it outside. But yeah, we definitely dumped a lot of water on this thing and it works great. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna do an audible here, Dave. I'm going to uh -oh. try to see if we can go live with a little audio sample. Hmm. Let me see if you hear. Oh, I'm gonna try a few things here. Sound effects. Let me go in here. Oh, how about some music? Let's go. That's some royalty-free music. Let's do that. Can you hear that? That's on the table. Let me bring it up to the mic. You know what? I would actually put it back on the table. So it can really show how the audio goes up. No. Nope. Like, that sounds good. Royalty-free dance moves from Rolando. Mm, let me see. I got another one on here. Let me see. Let's see if there's a better one. Yeah. This is the that lo-fi that's real that lo-fi kind of trap music mm -hmm. comes over i tell you night and day between that and speakers from a laptop that's for sure Oof. no doubt dave no doubt and the, and, and rolando this is an entry-level speaker phone that's the amazing part dave about this one so um you're teeing it up that's exactly where i'm going next to the superpowers let's bring back guy let's welcome guy hey guy there he is our superhero so on this poly sync 10 speakerphone the number one thing here is the superior audio you know we did a lineup last year of the top eight or ten speaker phones the sync 20 that's the big brother in the family came out on top the difference here between the two from a a uh, model perspective is that the sync 10 has all of the inside that the sync 20 is is just at a lower price 
and it doesn't have Bluetooth. So that's the big things it doesn't have, but you still get that superior audio that made the Sync 20 the number one rated speakerphone last year for us when we did our full extensive review. And if you want to see that, you can catch that on our YouTube channel and you'll see the full comparison. We did a, I think it was a, it was like a final four type of thing that we did with it. <clears throat> did it like yeah, the semi-final competition yeah, March, head to head battle. So March you can check Madness. that out on YouTube. Yeah, March Madness. A March Madness. Uh, you, you can check that out on our What The Tech channel. That's What The Tech. And you'll see that full lineup of head to head. So superior audio. We just gave you a sample of that. Uh, and that's going to bring to life that conversation that you're listening to. It's going to make you sound better. Uh, especially if you're you're taking this with you on the road because it's small enough it, you can put it in your go bag and it it's got that water resistance so you can take it outside Dave you can go on that picnic you could go you could go up you could be uh, we had a customer construction customer who was using the sync 20 essentially the same product but at a little bit higher cost and there's a construction site right they they, they build dams and roads and bridges and the rest and they were telling us how easy it was for their uh, their folks inside that are totally non techies to use it. Mm -hmm. And they were, um, if it's the same folks that you're thinking of, then I am also field engineers doing massive construction projects. And they would have meetings with other engineers at other locations right. outside on the back of their tailgate on their work truck. Yeah, and um, right. there was an instance where it had rained. They were able to. They were doing the meeting with the speaker and the cell phone paired to it, so they were able to keep their cell phone in their pocket the away from the rain, and then yep. conduct their meeting. And um, you know, aside from just being a, somewhat of a dirty, aggressive environment, the water just added something else to it. They were brand new when they purchased them. They were a little bit concerned, and then they reported back to like, "Oh, that was." They really are water resistant. That worked like a charm. And yes. I think it was because of your test that they were confident that it wasn't just hey, kind or of if words you could dig that up while we're talking about hero and kryptonite while we're, you know, uh bring back that water test to give our folks, you know, a sample of that. That that'd be great. If not, that that's not a problem. But if you know where it's at, go for it. Um, so yes, so superhero feature, that audio. Uh, we talked about the fact that it includes the USB-C adapter. Absolutely genius on Polly's part. Not all manufacturers are doing that. So saves you some stress, especially if you're going to deploy lots of these or several of these throughout your organization. Uh, water resistance, which Dave and I just going on and on about. Button layout. It's, you know, I'm not an engineer, Dave, but I, I you know, you, you and I play with a lot of these toys and when it comes to layout, I, there's something about having the buttons just left to right. Oh, there we go. That's it right there. <laughs> That's our water pour test. Look at that. Oh, and that looks actually like winter because it looks really dark. I, yeah, that was sometime in the winter. And it kept working. And it kept working. That's the beauty of that. Look at you, Dave. Yeah, that is the winter, man. Where did your tan go? Yeah, the tan's <laughs> not here now. here now. Around. Yeah, this is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The tan <laughs> left. <laughs> the All right. I can't see it anymore. So, yes, water <clears throat> resistance. So, if that's important to you, your construction company, you're outside, a road warrior, your work entails being outdoors, maybe you want to take it with you on the road and you're camping or whatever. This is the kind of product that can get wet, do the play stuff you want, and you got to jump on a business meeting. It's got it could play nice with all of those apps. Um, very easy to use. This is you can see I, I plugged it in on my laptop here, or and then just played the audio within a few seconds. So easy, very easy to use, plug and play. And you know we touched on this, Dave, the management features. So. Guy, you've made this one easy for the managers. For the, this is one. This one's for my IT brethren who understand this error four hundred four and don't want to see that. Whether 
it's a real computer 401 for or conceptually you're not going to get error 404 when it comes to this thing because you can use the poly lens app that allows you to customize it and there's a poly lens app that allows enterprise users whether you have 10 or 10,000 to basically manage those endpoints so that you can get control over the user experience so that everybody that under the organization has the right firmware, has the right integration, has all the right stuff. So whether it's the Sync 10, 20, 30, uh, Sync 10, Sync 20, Sync 40, or the Sync 6, Sync 60. Say that 10 times. Sync I can't 60. say that again. Oh, no! I get an oh, no for today for not being able to say Sync 60. Sync 60. <laughs> <laughs> all of those allow, all of those endpoints under the Poly family can be managed with the Poly Lens app for enterprise. All right, so those are all the hero features. Dave, did I miss something that we should have added in these um, hero features? I don't think so, Rolando. Those all seem to be right on point. All right, awesome. Let's bring out our Barbosa. Oh no. Do we have, let's see. Oh no, Barbosa, you rear your ugly head again. <sighs> This is the part where I don't always love, but we got to point it out, Dave. What's the what's the thing that is missing or wish should have been on here or people have complained about? This is brand new. So in terms of ratings and reviews, it's on the low end. It was just released. But I could tell you from having used it myself, having played around with it and having studied a bunch of different speaker phones and tested them like that water one with that where we doused the Bluetooth for me because i am a gadget guy i also use bluetooth all the time that's the one thing I, I i wish it was here but i know why they didn't put it in there dave because poly didn't have this product in their portfolio and it right. allows them to get a lower price point on the product so no bluetooth no customization button on here like the rocket button like like it you have on the sync 20 now they can offer a lower price product but the inside of it is essentially the same as the sync 20 the slightly bigger brother so if bluetooth is a deal breaker for you this product would not be one i would recommend but if you are because there are institutions there are enterprises there are individuals who don't want to mess around with bluetooth this is the way to go it's a really good entry point uh it, it's it's priced at a, they priced it uh, at about a hundred bucks for the Sync 10, so it's right in the right in the range of many individuals as well as enterprises that want something that's not going to break the bank, and that's why the Poly Sync 10 would be the product for you. All you right. know, I like I like when brands put out different variations of products like this because not everybody, like you said, not everybody wants Bluetooth, but if I am a if I'm a poly loyalist and I want a speaker phone, but I don't want, I don't want Bluetooth, I'll buy the Sync 20. I'll use it in a corded fashion, but I've paid the extra money to have a feature Bluetooth that I won't be using. I love when brands give the people the opportunity to spend less of their money for features or for, yeah, for features that they're not going to be using. It's such a good idea. I bought a I bought a new car recently. I I wanted some features. I didn't want the big giant wheels. I didn't mm. want the turbo. I wanted the leather. I wanted the sunroof. But I didn't want all of this extra stuff that comes with one of these high end SUVs. Right. And I was able to get it the way that I wanted. And I feel when I'm making my payment that hey, listen, I'm not paying for things that I don't need. I don't. You need didn't get the big mud bogging wheels, Dave. You know, no you mud that, bogging you, wheels yeah. you know it's just enough features that make me happy but i for all car buyers out there if you can avoid getting 19 inch wheels on your car you should consider that yes they look great but man are they expensive when they explode on you <laughs> they can break the budget oh no uh oh uh oh, oh no. so <laughs> for for people that want a great speakerphone and don't mind using it in a corded fashion the speak sorry the sync 
10 by Polly is certainly the product for you. And Rolando, you know what? We talk a lot about Bluetooth and wireless headsets, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of folks that they want inexpensive, comfortable, great sounding solutions that aren't yes. going to break the bank. And that's indeed exactly where the Sync 10 falls in. Absolutely. Abs absolutely. Absolutely. Shane Howard, our friend who said this, and I don't know if he realized that we, we love using this around here. It's an internal joke. He's in Portugal. I don't know if you're watching today or you're watching us on the playback. So Shane, this one's for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. All right, Dave. Now let's roll on into the last product of the show. This one is for all of those folks going back to the office and saying, Dave, they're not letting me use Bluetooth and I've still got to use a desk phone, right? I got to go back in. And in some cases, some people actually have some of these phones at their home, like I do. But, and that's if you're using like Ring Central or one of these voice over IP, Microsoft Teams with voice and any of these Vonage, you're using any of those platforms. Yes, another Dark Horse. Give us the Dark Horse music, Ori. Yeah. All right. Not approved. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I say to that? to these dark horses because there's something about them dave that we have to highlight because look more people are going back into the office although there's also at the same time a lot more people working from home and you got a lot of people in the middle doing the hybrid thing so for those folks that have to go back into the office and you're looking to upgrade you know maybe you were using your bluetooth like this and they say at work like something like this Sorry, Charlie, you can't use that with our phones because it doesn't have Bluetooth or they don't allow it. Or maybe you're in a space. If you ended up using it, it would cause interference because everybody would need it and everybody want to use their Bluetooth and that's not allowed. Right. You don't want interference when you're talking with your clients. All right. So. Polly, known as Plantronics, let me get my other Polly product out of the way. They have you covered with the Encore Pro uh, series of products, the 710, and I also have the 720. Let me move my Bluetooth out of there. Now, Dave, you know what's different about what we do? You know, we're different in many ways. We give the client, just like we did with the Speak 510, we give them a microfiber cloth. With the Evolve 65, we give them a uh, two the, the bonus two-pack windscreen we do something you know dave i would venture to say we started the trend 20 years ago every single manufacturer plantronics jabra sennheiser now yaylink as well they all sold and i believe most of them still continue to just selling the headset by itself now, by itself the headset is no good and the reason is, if you've got one of these, if you're using one of these, these desk phones, if you're watching me on TikTok, or you're watching me here, here, if you're using one of these, the headset will not plug into your phone by itself. You need a telephone cable. And what's even more frustrating, Dave, is that a telephone like this, and like any other phone, and you're, and by the way, and you're using a Plantronics product, you have to have the right cable. And guess what, Dave? There's over 20 cables. I know. That is so <laughs> crazy. So imagine the frustration if you are a telephone person, you are uh, an IT administrator, you are someone that is in charge of the headsets in the office. You got to figure out which one of these 20 cables is the right one because they're not included in the box when you normally buy it online anywhere we go one step further we include it in the box and the cable we give you in either model as well as the other versions of plantronics headsets that we sell on amazon they come with an intelligent cable why why an intelligent cable? why do you call it intelligent because this cable that we include will work across virtually any phone 
It will work on the mic telephone. It will work on this polyphone that's on my desk. It will work on a Yaylink phone. It will work on uh, NEC phone. It will work on some of the Avaya phones. Am I missing some? And it will work if you have a Nortel system. It will work on a Nortel phone. That's Cisco, right. Cisco, Cisco is still Cisco. so popular. Huge. It's gonna work on a Cisco. Phone. It's gonna work on a Cisco, right? So that's <clears throat> the big difference. So in the box, you get this nice, um, you get this blue bag. I want to point this out. Give a shout out to Sarah, Sarah, who did a fabulous job. We we have been transitioning out of plastic into compostable bags to save on all kinds of waste right you know, we're trying to do our part of being green and so if you still got this just know that this blue bag is the way we're transitioning to so you may already have it or you may have something that doesn't have it yet just know all of our accessories are going to be in this nice green bag that you can actually throw in your compost day if you don't need to do a uh one of these specialized compost bins if you have a compost bin at home it'll break down in your compost bin i tried it in mine and it broke down and that's why corn we're starch using made out of cornstarch dave it's and crazy. then sarah Great. did a fabulous job trying to source this for us it took a long time it is not an easy process to find this in bulk so that you can make them into bags like this but we were able to find a supplier that could give us that and get all the certifications for all that stuff so if you see this blue bag know that you're getting a biodegradable compostable type of bag i just wanted to point that out Very so cool. back to our encore pro so in the box you're going to get this cable all you're going to do if you get this in the box is you will see let me bring it up to the tabletop let me get my pointer here's a here's a pro tip or give me a pro tip get ready for a pro tip Pro tip numero cinco. When you get our headsets or the Plantronics headsets in the box, you're going to have this intelligent cord. The first thing you're going to want to do is identify this little, there we go. This little area here that has numbers on it. Okay. It's typically going to be at, um, all the way left. All right. That's going to work across most phones. But there are phones like Cisco. There are phones like NEC phones, Nitsuko phones. Those phones don't use a standard pinout. So on the back where it says headset, you're going to need to change the setting on here. All right. All you do is slide it over, make a test call. Sounds good. You're all set. And somewhere in the box or in the bag, there's a little cover. And by the way, you get instructions on all this. We got videos. It'll tell you exactly what to do, what those numbers are. I believe there should be. Here it is. Once once it starts working, you get dial tone. Just take this little doohickey, put it right back on there and cover it up. All right. And you're all set. Now you can plug this end to the Plantronics headset. The other end is going to plug into your headset port on your encore pro i'm sorry this this end will <laughs> this end will plug into your telephone on the headset port all right and then when you get all that done i would love if you send us your picture of whatever phone or you or you wearing your headset and we'll give you a mention mention us on social medias we're on the different platforms we'll love to highlight you and uh promote you shout shout you out on all of our platforms so that's the encore pro stereo version mono version let me open that up so that i can show you what you get uh inside inside the box besides this cord you're gonna in this in the mono version you get this nice elegant headset and it comes with a little uh, like a carry case if you're traveling around with it or uh, you could just put it away and store it away. You get all the user guide that's all in there. And in the stereo version, as you can see, this is one already that I, I left in the box. So that's the cable that came with it. And you get all of the user guides there too. And you've got stereo version. So I'm going to just move this one to the side so that we can just highlight the mono version. 
All right. You get a couple of different things here. You get, we're going to highlight this in our hero section as well. And Dave, let's talk about, we did talk about who this is really for, for that home, not, not really at home, but that person going into the office and um, needing some comfortable headset. Why would somebody want to spend the money on this type of product, Dave? Uh, man, th that is a premium solution. If you look at the corded headsets that Poly offers, this Encore series, this is this is just a gem. It's hard to show within pictures and on video how substantial that, that feels, right? That is not cheap plastic. You can tell by holding that 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 is made out of premium materials, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And not only that, Dave, but the design is different than most headsets. Most <clears throat> headsets are basically in a fixed position, both of the speakers as well as the mic. They may be just fixed. This one has a few different things so that it can pivot. It can rotate. You're going to get the best positioning possible on the microphone. Imagine if I was talking to you like this the entire time during the broadcast. You're like, <laughs> I can't hear you. The same thing happens when you use a headset. If you have it too far out, let me put it on so you can get a better idea. If you have the headset, let me turn this way, like this, and it's this far out, it's like me being way over here. Mm -hmm. If you have, and the microphones are so good because they're made to pick up your voice. If you have it right in line, right in here, if you're watching me on TikTok like this, like this, or just right below your lip line, it's like me coming in here and talking to you like this the whole time. You get a nice, rich, intimate sounding voice talking to you as if they were in the room. Yeah. And that's how you want to position it. Now, Dave, like you said, you also get these speakers that pivot and rotate. And what is yep. cool about that, let me show that to you close up. Is you see they move? You see that they move, right? And this flexibility to move up and down as well as rotate it is what gives it the comfort because if they're locked into this fixed position if your head isn't the ideal shape which most people aren't you're not going to want to wear this for very long it's it's going to bother your ears it's going to feel uncomfortable and all the rest so that's great that you have that built in with this product that's why it is a premium product because most headsets do not do those functions yeah. and you know what rolando when a pro, like you're, you're pointing out if a headset is comfortable your agents are going to be able to take more phone calls your agents are going to sound better to your clients they'll also be able to hear their clients better spend less time on that phone call and move on to the, the call after you know I, i've been in the many many call centers and sometimes we go in there and they say that the the audio just sounds bad it's like well what are you know what are your two or three top complaints that you're hearing from the agents and, and they'll say right. customers can't hear them very well mm -hmm. if, if if you're a call center manager supervisor or even worker if customers don't hear you well look at the look at the people that are on the phone if their headsets aren't comfortable they tend to wear them back a little bit because they don't want them resting they're trying to make them comfortable and in the process of doing yeah. so like rolando was pointing out the microphone moves from in front of your mouth to upwards as you kind of do that yeah or, or yeah we're in the wrong position you don't want to yeah. again it's like me talking out here you you could kind of hear me but not very well you got to wait for me to get close to the mic in order for that voice to be picked up right. properly the headset is exactly the same way works in the exact same way so when they're designing this, they're designing it with comfort in mind, along with sound quality, along with durability. But that comfort feature, it's so it's so important. If the if the name of the game is call center, hey, they understand that that user that, that four hours on a phone before they even have a chance for a break. So they want to make products that can sit on agents' heads for you know an entire shift. And like I said, just be a more effective tool to get the job quickly, to get the job accomplished quickly, and then move on to that next call. So having a high-end premium product like this, it's going to result in the very least as a more comfortable option for your, for your people. Absolutely, Dave. Where's my, uh-oh, no, that one didn't. 
You know, that button's that button's a little slow. Ding. <clears throat> absolutely, absolutely, Dave. You know what I forgot to show? Um, so when you have a headset like this, actually all the Plantronics headsets, all the Encore Pro series are gonna have this. They call the QD. QD stands for quick disconnect. So you're gonna take the one end of the headset and you're gonna plug it into the cable that came in the box and they'll snap together so that they can quickly disconnect. Like what Dave, Dave was saying, you gotta go on a break with the quick disconnect. This is the other part that makes it a premium. You're taking your break, you gotta go. You don't have to like leave this and take this off your neck. It's all about efficiency. You just boom, take it out. Now you get up and you go on your break. You come back, come back to your workstation, plug back in. No need to do all the monkeying. It's all about efficiency, especially when you're talking about several people, hundreds of people that are doing this all day long. And especially if you're on the phone lots, the last thing you want to do is move more hands and do more movements than you need. This just makes it so much easier. Just boop, take your break, unplug, and you go with it. And you, you have a little um, little cloth clip so you could pin it to your to your shirt or your blouse. You could pin it on the side. Everybody has their own preference on how they got to use this, this little clip here. But you can essentially um, secure it to yourself so that the cable doesn't get caught on anything on your desk or as you're leaving your desk with it on you. So that's that. Let's go to the superhero powers. Let's bring out Guy. Where are you, Guy? Guy. Thank you, Guy. Comfort, as Dave said, is the number one thing. It's the superhero power here that makes the Encore Pro worth talking about. You got you to gotta be on the phones all day long. This is definitely something that you want to consider as your one of your top choices, the Encore Pro. And again, we include the telephone cable in the box so you can connect it to your phone. Then the tele, telescopic mic boom. We, we kind of alluded to it, but let me show you. The telescopic boom, as you can see at this end here, will, it can retract and it can come out. And it does that so it can give you the best way to capture a voice. Now, because everybody's faces are different, some are bigger, some are longer, it, it has a way to do that so it can adjust to different face sizes. Love that part about it, because it, what you want is you want to sound like this when you're talking to somebody, rather than feeling like you're having to shout and they can't hear you and you're shouting into a microphone. And that telescopic boom allows you to bring that voice, bring that richness, bring that audio forward so that your customers can hear you better. Wearability. Dave was all over it about wearability. This thing, you can just put it on your head. It adjusts up and down on the ear cushion. It pivots, it rotates. So you can wear it left or you can wear it right. Let's say I'm drinking coffee at my workstation. You know, a lot of headsets. They come in a fixed position with the microphone boom. You can't really, all you can do is up and down. But again, it's all about efficiency, especially if you're on a lot of calls. So watch this. I can move the boom away from my face. I can bring it in. So if I want that cup of coffee, it's out of the way. And that's an actual pivot point. That's not just flexing outwards, is that's it? That's right. It, it pivots. So it goes in and out. Wait, let me see. Let me do it this way. You can see it comes in. It, it so it tucks in and I could swing it out. I think you could actually call that the coffee, the coffee, uh, the coffee mode. Coffee mode. I like it, Dave. I like it. You're you're on fire today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the wearability, the superior audio, the the boom being one of these booms that allows you to bring the microphone in as well as telescoping it out. What was the last one? Uh, and, oh, yes. We've got warranty. Dave, anybody, especially if we're talking in order. Now I'm talking to, again, to my IT brethren here. If you've got a lot of these and or you've used headsets in the past, you know that at some point somebody may just snap a cord or their chair runs under it. <clears throat> 
Uh, you know, maybe step on it. You know, they may <laughs> dump their coffee. I've seen them all, Dave. The coffee gets dunked in the microphone and it stops working. You're going to have to go to warranty service, right? Uh, you do. And I'll tell you, it's nice because it preserves your budget, right? If you're upgrading your call center and you know that the products have a two-year warranty associated with them, you can you can plan ahead for that within your budget. You know that for the hundred dollars that the headset costs, you won't need to spend any more money during the course of two years if something should happen to it. That's if you right, manage, you're yeah, and if and, and it's super easy to do. I've done it myself. Polly has a portal. You register the product with a with a user. You then can go in at any time and you can just select that you need a replacement and they send you all of the instructions. They turn it around super easy. Listen, when I got into the business of headsets, all of the brands had already started doing something with warranty. And because it's so competitive, they all want it to be better than the, than the other person. And that's uh, that makes it exciting to sell premium products because I really wish warranties for headsets. Sorry, I wish warranties for other items that I've purchased were as easy to get replaced as headsets mm -hmm. because they really do make it so and simple. Plantronics particularly, they do make it very easy, especially for folks that have lots of these out there. And you're, you're you know, you, we, we've dealt by the, we've dealt with all the manufacturers. They make it very easy for you to register it and get warranty support. No like monkeying around with it and, jerking your chain it's broken doesn't work you get a replacement within two years yeah so Polly just wants to make sure that your people are back up and running so if mm -hmm. you take a product that has all of these features plus the durability plus the warranty you know this, things will happen that are out of people's control you know it might get in the hands of a a person that is leaving the organization let's say it gets thrown <laughs> across the room out of aggression because sometimes <laughs> It happens call in a call center, center work. man. Of course it does. Happens, yeah. you know, the people will get frustrated, you know, and props to anybody. Props to anybody that works in a call center. It's not easy work. You're dealing with people, and people are the hardest thing to deal with rather than technology. I'd rather sit in a room with servers. They don't talk back. They don't break down almost predictably, but people will talk back, talk dirty in a bad way. Not the good dirty talk, but bad dirty talk right and just rip you a new one just because they're in a foul mood and it's hard work being a call center so props to all the call center workers out there as well as the managers that have to manage those call hey shout out to richard blank speaking of call centers richard blank shout oh, out yeah. to you with costa rica's costa rica's call centers plug in for your call center today and what, a super, what a super nice guy he was and listen oh, yeah. I loved the culture that he was creating with with his workers because he understands that working with people can be difficult sometimes within a customer service type role and yeah. he's created he's created a um he's created a culture where uh everyone is treated in a way where that sort of aggressive customer doesn't affect their their next phone call I'd say or yeah. something they're they're all there to support each other yeah, I like no, what he's doing great guy Richard, props to you. Keep doing that good work down in Costa Rica with your call center. And he's doing a fabulous job there. And Dave, you know, we've got the last thing about this thing that it's a small thing. But again, along the same lines for those folks that are bringing this to multiple people in their organization. When you use a product like this, the thing that will wear out the quickest and the most is the ear cushion. And so you eventually get to a point where yeah, and that's our last superpower on this one. The ear cushions on this are so easy to replace. You know, we 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 can go through so many products and try to replace the ear cushions, but let me show you. Here's the ear cushion. This thing just pops right out. And then you just get another pair or 10 more or however many you need, and the new ones will just pop right in. Hear that snap? You know you're good to go. No guesswork. I love it, Dave. Nice. This is something where it is totally a superhero feature and not all manufacturers have that very easy snap off and snap back on. 
I love it. I love it. Especially when you have a lot of these laying around and you don't you don't want the again it's about taking frustration levels down and if you're a headset person an office manager and you have people just buy a box of these and we sell a bunch of these uh encore pro cushions uh we have those available and just have them you know again a box of these laying around you get worn out boom your people are right back in business no need to be like yo i don't i don't know how to put this on there it's not sticking on there because some are glued onto the speaker dave i've seen it and it, it they tear they rip they they kind of forget about it this one's just snap in snap out and you're back in the game nice awesome now let's bring out our kryptonite guy mr barbosa <laughs> where is i i had to think about this one dave because there's a lot of things going on that's right about this product. Now, this is a premium product. I'm going to say this. This is a premium product. But in the minds of the average person or even the average IT guy, my fellow brethren IT people that are out there, not all headsets are created equal. So when you compare this to a $25 headset, you're doing a disservice to yourself and to the products that you probably could enjoy better quality audio from. But given what it is, it's not the cheapest product out there in the land. There are cheaper products out there from a headset perspective than this one. And so that's the only knock that I could find, Dave, that I, I would hear comments or see other comments that it's, ex quote, expensive. But given that you do have a two-year warranty, so you could look at this. Let's just say this is a hundred dollar headset with the telephone cable included, by the way, Dave, that's essentially $50 per year from a budgeting perspective, because you're covered for those two years. Like you said mm -hmm. earlier, if something goes wrong. So essentially you've paid $50 for one year, $50 for the next year. And if in year number two, it breaks, you actually get the replacement. You're entitled to a replacement. So you actually get and in that replacement gives you a one year, <clears throat> a one year warranty on the replacement one. I believe it's a one year, right, Dave? Is it or did you get another full two years on replacement? I'm not sure if, if things have changed on that. Uh, it used it, to be a one year on the replacement product. It may depend on it, it may depend on when you go in for the warranty service. If for mm -hmm. some reason you have Mm -hmm. to have it serviced within the first eight months during a two-year period, I believe you get the full two-year warranty applied back to that replacement product. And there you go. But at a minimum, you're going to get another third year, right? Yep. So you can essentially count on about a three-year window. So if you were to break that down over a three-year period where you have a, no cost to you, if it goes down, you're looking at about a $33 product which puts it in the range of all the budget products out there. So on paper, it looks like you're paying for way too much. But when you break it down over the life of the product, which at a minimum could be three, at most could be four when you're covered, you're, ba you're basically paying the same price of a cheapo product you'd find online, which does not have a two-year warranty. Or, and some of them don't even have beyond a, a one year. Some of them are just a one year. So people are just cranking out and buying a bunch of these and not realizing you could save yourself the hassle and inconvenience of having to just have a big bin of cheapo headsets that you're just going through and probably spending way more money than a really good product that will take care of you for the three years that you're going to use it and maybe even long, beyond that. And then, of course, you, you need to absorb the soft costs of using bad tools, bad mm -hmm. customer service, yes. not repeating taking audio. enough phone calls, repeating yourself, mistakes. You know, a premium product is going to do your business a major service. Make sure that you're looking at premium. If, if you're trying to offer a premium solution or premium service to your customers, use premium tools or suffer the consequences. <laughs> Stop doing that dave oh no that's right don't do that to yourself dave using a cheapo product thinking you're gonna get away with it and you know what 
that's the way you got to talk to people that are really budget conscious because although the bottom line matters also the bottom line matters the full bottom line matters not just the i'm paying this today because you're going to absorb costs along the way after you get that product in the hands of your people whether well they're said. soft costs that you can't quite measure or direct costs be to, be, by having to keep constantly replacing products that are inferior well said you know you definitely get what you pay for the reason why we get excited about the products that we sell is because we know that they are superior to so many other solutions that are out there we don't want to offer cheap stuff we don't want to just move plastic yep. we want to offer solutions that are going to help everyone win-win at the end of the day right and you know today being tech tuesday i was sporting my 404 error to all my tech brethren that may be watching and maybe you're not tech but you've seen that before it's a it's a it thing right um uh, and i just want to celebrate all those it managers out out there today that on tech tuesday uh if you're looking for a product you're looking for a home that can take care of your business that has expertise again we've been doing this for 20 years dave 20 years celebrate i'm gonna give ourselves some props here 20 years in the business celebrating this year our 20th year we uh can help you with hardware like we've been showing today we also have a sister side of the division that does services where we provide internet services and platforms like zoom phone and ring and vonage and what you get with us is the full spectrum. We could tell you what's going to work well within your business from a platform perspective, an internet perspective, and marry that with the hardware, Dave. Instead of just saying, go online and buy whatever he headset or speakerphone or thing, it'll work. Right. We can make sure that both worlds come together very nicely and they play well with each other and help you with that one-stop shop. Yes, sir. So uh, I want to thank you for joining. I want to thank my TikTok brethren where we had a poll about Thanksgiving. Uh, and I can't read it because the, the monitor is so far away. But I want to thank all the people that joined us on TikTok, watched us from all around the world. What I could see there, the Canada and Germany and Mexico and where else in Liechtenstein, Philippines. What other country? I could. It's it's kind of in there, but it's hard to hard to read because the screen is really small. But I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Canada, our guy, our superhero from Canada, guy A. Eh? All Maybe. of us joining and around around on the other platforms as well. If you like this content and it's been helpful to you, go ahead, bump the like button, so that the platforms can bring more to you. And Dave and I are in. Oh, wait, there you go. You can go that, that Ori. Dave and I are in several other videos that you want to check out because if you want to sound like a hero and not a zero, you want to check these two videos out so that you can sound and look your best. We'll see you in those videos.